Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Three Core Dave, and today we're talking about Gibson and PRS are in court battling each other over trademarks. It's kind of stupid, actually. Hey folks, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, PRS and Gibson are in court battling each other about trademarks, and 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 honestly, these these battles are kind of stupid one party in this whole thing has one decent point uh, whether or not it needed to go to court i don't know maybe um so prs and the ted mccarty family bandied together to sue gibson over the theodore trademark and they want to get that cancelled before we go into it too much please make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button here on youtube it really helps out the channel and makes you an absolute legend so please do that now the Theodore came out in July of 2022. Uh, it was the first time Gibson's put out a new guitar shape, as far as I can remember, in about 300 years. Uh, it's been a long time. So, uh, yeah, they, they brought it out. They called it the Theodore. Um, and now PRS say that uh, the Theodore trademark, which was issued to Gibson shortly after the release of the guitar for stringed instruments, um, is too confusing to guitar consumers uh, who already know the McCarty uh, PRS guitar, and they might think that PRS is in some way endorsing or associated with the Gibson uh, Theodore. Nobody has ever thought that, but PRS are saying that it's possible that people could think that. Uh, that's the first basis. However, PRS have a partner, which is the Ted McCarty estate, and they say that Gibson has no right to use Ted McCarty's name or persona in their marketing and publicity of guitar products, even though he worked at Gibson and you know was influential in some of their biggest designs. Uh, and that's what I think is the strongest point in all of these lawsuit thingamabobs that's going on at the minute. The McCarthy estate should be getting paid royalties for the use of Ted McCarthy's name. Now, in relation to PRS and the McCarthy estate's lawsuit, Gibson have responded by saying the following, uh, guitarists could easily presume that the Theodore in question could be any Theodore and uh, that PRS have not demonstrated that Ted McCarthy is well enough known to be presumed the guitar's namesake. And when you think about it, there's lots of famous Ted's, right? I mean, you've got Ted Danson, for one. I mean, Ted Danson likes a guitar here and there. So they could have, this could be his signature model. Uh, if not, I mean, you know, Ted Nugent, he's a guitar guy. He he could be, maybe not, maybe not, but, you know, it's another option. Um, Ted Lasso, quite popular. Maybe it's a crossover with the Apple TV show. Uh, you know, a bit of brand recognition, uh, both sides there, no? Uh, maybe they just, maybe they're just big fans of the movie Ted uh, from Seth MacFarlane. I mean, that was a popular movie a few years ago. So just an idea. Maybe, maybe Ted Bundy. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, moving on from that infamous picture or person right there. Uh, Gibson, I think your legal argument is about to fall on its face because you're saying basically, Gibson's argument is basically, sure that could be Annie Ted, but it's still not necessarily Ted McCarty. It could be Annie Ted, prove that it's Ted McCarty that we named that guitar after. And if you go to gibson.com and you look for the Theodore guitar and you find it, it says, Gibson's legendary former president, Theodore Ted McCarty, helped develop some of the most iconic electric guitars ever during the 1950s and early 1960s. Blah, 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 blah. On March 18th, 1957, Ted detailed and signed his drawing for a new solid body instrument, which was never produced. Until now, the Gibson Custom Shop is proud to present the Theodore, inspired by Ted McCarty. Smoking gun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Gibson, you can't say, well, that could be any Ted, any Theodore that could be named after, and then have it on your website, specifically it's Ted McCarty. You can't do that. <laughs> so, so yes, I would say the burden of proof has been proven um, <laughs> that on that one. And then McCarty, look, honestly, I don't think PRS have much of a case, but the McCarty um, estate have uh, definitely got a case. 
if Gibson is using the name, they need to have approval and be paying royalties to the Ted McCarthy estate. If they don't have approval or uh, using his or paying royalties to his estate, they really shouldn't be using his name to sell or market his guitars, even though he is one of the most influential people in Gibson history and probably guitar history. Uh, Gibson, you can't, you just can't do that. It's like you can't create a three chord Dave guitar just because I comment on Gibson guitars all the time. You, you just can't, you need to pay me money or something if you do it. So, you know, just, just be warned, I will sue you. Um, <laughs> so for the crack anyway, Gibson have filed a counter suit where they say that the Silver Sky Nebula um, <laughs> is, is, could be confusing to people who have heard of Gibson's Silver Burst guitar. Nobody knows where they came up with this or what they were smoking at the time, but it was probably something very strong that they obtained illegally uh, from some sort of shady character. Uh, it's basically Gibson wants PRS to not be able to use Silver Sky Nebula. They want that trademark canceled. Not Silver Sky, they're fine. You can sell all the other Silver Skies, just not the Silver Sky Nebula, because that sounds too much like sil Silver Burst. That's, they actually said that. Uh, Gibson's actual complaint says, customers might assume Gibson's involvement in the Silver Sky Nebula due to the name being similar to Silver Burst. Again, just the Silver Burst Nebula, which is a discontinued guitar anyway. Uh, but why, <laughs> why, not the other, why not the Roxy Pink uh, Silver Sky or, or any of the other ones? Um, it makes no sense, but Gibson, that's what they fired back. The legal team trying to work up their bonuses uh, with the number of lawsuits. Maybe every specific finish is going to get its own specific lawsuit. I don't know. Um, I mean, look, it makes no sense, right? The Silver Sky is a model. PRS Silver Sky is a model name, such as like the Gibson SG, the Gibson Explorer, the Gibson Flying V. So if those names were similar, you'd say, okay, there, there's a point. But Silver Burst is a finish. It's a, it's a paint been put on the guitar it is not a model those two things are not confused people do not think gibson are involved in any way in the prs silver sky nebula or otherwise um in fact if you ever did think that yourself I, you need to just get checked out i don't know something's wrong and it's not it's not good you, you might need some 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 medication or something um yeah both of these basically both of these uh, claims are a little bit silly. I think that the McCarthy estate has some valid points. They need to be paid if they're going to use Ted McCarthy's name to sell their guitars. Um, and if that agreement is not in place, then Gibson need to just sort that out. That's not right. But PRS's claim is silly. Nobody ever considered, as far um, as I'm aware, that PRS had anything to do with the Gibson Theodore. That would be stupid and vice versa. I mean, the Silver Burst thing, that's, that's just ridiculous. Um, potentially, if both of these claims though were upheld, uh, it would mean restricting or, or stopping um, any kind of reissue or re-release of these guitars. So the PRS Silver Sky Nebula would not be available again, at least not with that trademark name. So they'd have to call it something else. Which again, it's, it was a limited edition, um, uh, discontinued model. It's not, I don't think PRS have ever said that they're gonna do it again. It's not a big deal. The Theodore, there has been rumors that it would be uh, reissued or to be a USA version or maybe even an Epiphone version of it coming out. Um, if this lawsuit holds up, then Gibson would not be able to reissue the guitar with that name. They could obviously do whatever they want with the shape and stuff, but so rename it something else. Um, that's not as obvious. As, as that. So anyway, those are those are the lawsuits that are going on. I think they're both kind of silly. And um, the, like, I don't think PRS should be involved. I don't think Gibson have thought through very much the response <laughs> to it. Like, that could be any Ted. That's not necessarily Ted McCarthy. You can't prove it. Well, I can. I just go to your website. And it says, inspired by Ted McCarthy. So well done, Gibson. I applaud your your brazen idiocy. Uh, anyways, tell me what you think of these uh, stories in the comment section below, guys. Really interested to know what you think. Uh, my name is Streetcore Dave. I'll be back with another guitar-related video very soon. But until then, take care.